Laggy, what was behind your decision to move from the southwest to Harlequins? Um, I think for me, in terms of moving forward, um, is in terms of the support I needed and um, just the high class quality coaches that we have um, and how form, uh, family orientated it was down here at uh, the stoop and with the girls like that for me was a given um, obviously enjoyed my time down at Bristol and enjoyed the two seasons I had down there but for me moving forward um, I definitely saw something about Quinns that I wanted to be a part of and haven't looked back since. And who's, who's made the biggest impression on you since you joined player or coach? I think for me like I'm very much about the, the team itself and obviously I've got the likes of Karen and Streety have played a massive part. Atlanta, who's who's probably going to be my best friend this season in terms of um, <laughs> off-field stuff. But um, uh, for me, the girls have been awesome. You've got a lot of characters. Um, we've got a few from the other um, um, nationalities as well, which uh, have a good mix. And I think for me, if you get on well off the pitch, you'll show on the pitch. And uh, that's the exciting part. Like, obviously, we haven't played a game yet together, but um, that's definitely the big buy-in for me, uh, the girls, for sure. 100%. Okay. And you're back to full fitness now. Yeah. How, what was it like and how difficult was it to be out injured? You didn't play a game for Bristol all last season yeah. and you obviously missed England's Grand Slam campaign for the Six Nations. So yeah. it can't have been easy. But how did you find it? Oh, absolutely. I think um, as a sport itself, like you're bound to get these injuries and more than anything, it's uh, it's challenging psychological, uh, psychologically mm -hmm. as well as physically. But for me, it's, it's important having a good circle around you. And I definitely had that down at Bristol and down at Exeter, which um, were the foundations for me getting to where I am. This, like to this day but for me um, yeah definitely the people around me and somewhat um, just having the urge to, the willingness to come back and play mm. and I think I speak on behalf of a lot of people when you have injuries you have the dark times but the good times far far like outweigh the good uh, the bad times yeah yeah absolutely okay and you mentioned Exeter and Plymouth there where yeah. you, you kind of grew up right, yeah. well, how much of an impact did Joe Yap have in your time at Exeter Uni as, as, a, as a head coach of the union obviously during your during your England under 20 days yeah so I've been playing yeah rugby for five years now and she's definitely at the forefront of much of my achievement without her I definitely wouldn't be where I am today um, so for that like I'm super grateful for everything she's done and she we still continue to stay in touch and obviously she's down at Worcester now um, hopefully enjoying herself as well mm. but she's very much a, a, a primary source of much of my success and yeah um, all the exits a lot as well the girls um, SNC uh, Wayne Pattinson has played a massive part in as you've said the injury phase um, but yeah she's been awesome and been part of my journey since I was 16 17 now 21 mm -hmm. and I'm still keeping in touch with her um, but yeah much of my success is because of her, I'd definitely say that. And what do you make of Exeter Chiefs' recent announcement to, to create a women's <laughs> team? Um, it's fantastic for the players in that area yeah. and obviously hopefully with the pathways it will create for the local colleges and, and clubs. Oh, 100% I couldn't agree anymore. I think for me, um, that being home away from home, that Exeter region, I think above all of it, um, it's good to see that Exeter have put in um, the, the, like, the foundation for the sport down there for women's game. There's a lot of hidden talent down there and um, I'm proud to see that um, um, they started something special down there and um, wish them all the well. Um, but yeah, it's awesome news for me for sure. Yeah. Brilliant. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank what you. are your hopes and your kind of goals going into the season? Obviously hoping to stay fit and, and, and get out on the pitch for England. Um, for me, yeah, personally, um, in terms of club, we, we want to finish off on a, on a high and, and we know that, we, we know what we want, we, wanna, we know what we want to achieve. In terms of uh, on the England front, we just want to be the, remain the best in the world, if not be the best in the world. And for me in particular is being the best player I can, both at club and uh, at country, and just staying on top and being consistent with everything as well. Um, it's an exciting season ahead uh, for me for sure as well, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it.